piece of wood? Nope. This is called creeping genuts. Arachis pintoi. So this is a sister. This is related to uh, to to, to genus, but this is a perennial and is not not making any uh, any seeds, not any uh, any fruits. Uh, it's nitrogen fixing. Mm. And it's a cover crop to prevent dehydration. So I would like I like it more, most around our uh, black blueberries and and many of our other crops. Yeah, so it improves the soil and it retains the moisture. And it prevents a lot of uh, weeding. So you have planted the, the you have planted this, this is what the these are uh, uh, grapes, table grapes. But we have recently pruned them, so they're still to uh, to, grow. to to come back. Yes, so you see fresh leaves here coming up, and now that we have trimmed them, they also we are expecting that the leaves grow bigger. I think you can tell us about this fertilizer. Yeah. This is yeah. fertilizer here. So it's, it's a little bit an, a long story. Um, what you should realize is that uh, because of our always nice weather, um, nice temperatures, enough rains, uh, the soil loses all its organic matter. Bacteria, fungi, they eat everything in the soil. Uh, so even keeping soil fallow here in the, in, in, uh, in the, on the equator, in the tropics, is not going to work, it's not giving you fertility. So the only thing to give you fertility, to keep your fertility in your soils, is when you keep on adding materials, when you keep on adding food. So what, what you really should, uh, should realize is that mama cooks three times a day for the children and for the husband. They eat three, three meals a day, but people never feed the soils. And that is when the soils get, get, get depleted, uh, they get acidic, um, and, and even more important, most of the pests, most of the diseases are coming because the plant is weak. And we all know that in nature, weak plants, weak animals are being taken away. Only the strong genes, only the healthy animals, they can continue, they can reproduce. No different with, with trees, with fruits, no different with, with crops, with uh, with, with maize, with, with, with cabbage. So everything has to be focused on the soil. Um, and in, in my opinion, a soil needs to have about 8% of organic matter. Yeah? So you have to make a lot of new soil, a lot of organic matter, which means everything which grows from the farm, you never make fires, you, everything, uh, you, you decompose, you, you ferment, you make sure that it's ready. Uh, this is what we are doing here, in this part of our farm. Uh, we mix about 14 different uh, ingredients. Of course, a farmer has maybe only two or three, but that is already a very big help if you do that. So we do 14 different ingredients, and, and we, we water, and we, we, we mix, um, and we make sure that uh, maybe in three, four months, uh, this is completely decomposed, and then it's a very healthy feed for the soil and then the soil yeah the old everything which is in the soil is then being eaten by bacteria by fungi by protozoa by, by even there are many if the soil is nicely aerated you have even beneficial nematodes yeah they don't eat the roots but they help preparing the dish yeah if you only use synthetic fertilizers you, that, and, and you feed the plant, that is like going three times a day, every day, every year, to the McDonald's. Yeah? Now you have to ask yourself, are you healthy if you only eat McDonald's? So if you use synthetic fertilizers, that is what you try to do with your garden. But it cannot work. Yeah? So you have to make a product which feeds the soil. And then in the 
in the habitat, in the soil, with all the, as I said, all the bacteria, all the fungi, uh, all the protozoa, all the worms, the earthworms, all the small eat insects that don't eat your roots, not don't eat your roots, yeah. All those bring together, and they they preferment. Also, what you should not forget: every tree, every plant, every bush, they don't produce sugar for themselves only. They also produce sugars for the bacteria. They share, and the bacteria with that energy go to to find nutrients and they already start pre-digesting them and then they give it to the plant, they give it to the tree. So that is called symbiosis. Yeah? And if you only use synthetic fertilizers, if you then also think that you have to spray pest control, you kill that symbiosis, you kill the habitat and you only get more problems. So you have to go back, think and before you start a farm, or if you have a farm, put all your money in the soil. You make a lot of compost, you buy compost, we have enough, you can always come here to sell, to buy. Yeah, we are selling the product, but you can, we, you can also come here for a training. Yeah. And we teach you how to make it yourself, from your own waste, from your own farms. So please, from today, no more burning of waste from your farm, because that is throwing away your money. Use it to prepare it to build your new soils. Then you have about 14 ingredients in it. What are some of the ingredients, some of them? Some of them, of course, are the farm waste. Some of them is the dung from our animals. Uh, we also bring water hyacinth. We take uh, waste from the fish industry. We take waste from the leather industry. We take waste from the sugar industry. We take waste from the rice industry. Products that they can't use. Okay. Waste products, and we, we, we even bring, we even collect uh, kitchen waste from, from the restaurants in town. Whatever organic waste. You can get, you just... You, here, and you mix, and you water, yeah, and then it decomposes, and then it gives you a beautiful soil. Wow. So you get this one, decompose it, after decomposing, you, you mix it properly, you sieve it from there. That's what we do, because people don't want, uh, two reasons, people don't want the bigger pieces, but also the bigger pieces are probably not yet ready. Mm. Yeah, so we only remove the dust, which is already fully decomposed. Okay. This is yeah. good. It's impressive. I think this is so impressive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank we you. are going into these nitrogen, the, the NPK fertilizers, which are so expensive. How much do you sell a bag of this fertilizer? We sell this one 40,000. Uh, or maybe How many kilos? if you go to an agrovet, it's maybe 50,000 uh, for a bag of 50 kilos. Mm -hmm. And uh, NPK fertilizers, I think, are now more than 300,000 for 50 yeah. kilos. Yeah. kilos. Yeah? And it's not helping you. Just because you feed the plant, but it's the McDonald's. Mm. Yeah. So it's, it's, not, it's not healthy. Right, Killing the soil. Killing the soil. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Okay. I think this is good. This is something to learn. Eh? Mm. If we, anybody has the organic waste anywhere, that anywhere. means you can do your, your farm by using the organic waste around and then... Yeah, and if you don't have it, you go to, to ESCOM and you get it from the, from the hydro dam, you get all the, the water hyacinth. Yeah. Yes, that's a problem for them, it's a blessing for, for the farmer. Mm. I think I've loved this fertilizer. It's a beautiful product. You know, coffee farmers, coffee farmers, they have two, three times the crop. That means the water hyacinth in Uganda is a gift to us. It's a, but don't forget, water hyacinth we have so much because the water is polluted. The water has so many nutrients because there are so many people in Africa. And, and in Kenya, the, the, the tea farms, yeah, they, they, they throw a lot of synthetic fertilizers. And that all goes through the streams, 90% will not even be used. And it all ends up in Lake Victoria.